was that other thing for Donald Trump on Saturday? Instead of being in Iowa, he placed a phone call into Michael Flynn's, quote, the Reawaken Tour. This was being held at Trump Doral. What is the Reawaken Tour that is hosted by Michael Flynn? It is a Christian nationalist conspiracy theory movement, a conference in which hundreds of thousands of individuals gather. I want to let you hear Donald Trump's phone call into that event. General Flynn, he's some general, he's some man, he took abuse like nobody could have handled, and he came out bigger, better, stronger than ever before. We love him. He's a leader. And uh, you just stay wealthy and healthy and well and everything. I want you to have great lives in general. You just have to stay healthy because we're bringing you back. We're going to bring you back. My wife's going crazy. We're proud of you. I want to thank General Flynn for being a very brave man who was absolutely tortured. And he's stronger now. He's stronger now than he ever was. And it takes somebody very special to pull that off. We're bringing you back into the Trump administration. For folks who have forgotten Michael Flynn over the years, you'll recall he left the White House after he lied to Vice President Pence about his conversations during the transition period with the Russian ambassador. Michael Flynn is the same guy who pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI as they were investigating those very conversations. He pleaded guilty to the FBI for lying and not disclosing his work of hundreds of thousands of dollars with the Turkish government. He's the one who was pardoned by Donald Trump just two weeks after the 2020 election. Uh, and who was his lawyer? It was Sidney Powell. After that, he has become a close ally who has continued to spread conspiracy theories related to the 2020 election, but also he has continued to spread conspiracy theories about Russia's invasion into Ukraine, suggesting that Russia has exposed the, quote, bioweapons that the U.S. has funded. That is Michael Flynn. That is the split screen out of this weekend in Iowa. Donald Trump calling it a Michael Flynn in the Christian nationalist conspiracy theorist movement versus Ron DeSantis actually in Iowa making the case to Iowa Republicans. Well, it's a pretty dramatic split screen. And, uh, you know, people do in Iowa, as you know, in Iowa, New Hampshire, showing up matters, not just showing up at rallies, but doing the type of groundwork that DeSantis was doing actually does make a difference over the long haul. I, I, Richard Haas, I want to quote Donald Trump himself from December 2nd, 2017. Uh, this was on his Twitter account. And Donald Trump said, I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and lied to the FBI. He has pled guilty to those lies. It's a shame because his actions during the transition were lawful. Um, but he said, I had to fire Flynn because he lied to the vice president and he lied to the FBI. Uh, this is just vintage Donald Trump now calling in to a conspiracy theorist event uh, at, at Durrell, which Drudge said had people who were uh, had spoken warm uh, about Hitler. Um, and he calls in uh, and says he's going to rehire Michael Flynn. Can you talk about just how dangerous that was the first time and how more dangerous that would be to the United States if he did that? Look, Joe, uh, to make a long story short, Michael Flynn should not have a security clearance. He should be nowhere near the 18 acres of the White House complex. Uh, hopefully, if he ever were nominated for something, he couldn't get confirmed, but he doesn't have to be confirmed in order to be national security advisor again. But seriously, he should not be anywhere near anything to do with classified material or any type of national security. And this connects, by the way, to the Trump answer on Ukraine. It's a reminder of what the stakes are potentially if Trump gets the nomination in 2024. We're not just talking about the future of American democracy. We are talking about the fundamentals of American foreign policy. Between Donald Trump and Michael Flynn, you are talking about people who are essentially sympathetic to Russia. And I think this would mean the undoing of NATO, the undoing of our security partnerships in Europe and in Asia. And I just think this would, you, know, you want to see a change in the trajectory of history in the wrong direction, this will get it. The combination of Donald Trump and Michael Flynn is toxic to American national security. I don't know any, any other way to put it.